Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the different types of triangles. The, the different types of triangles are distributed into two different categories. The very first category is based on the different angles of a triangle. And the second category is based on the measurements of the sides of the triangle. So each of these categories has three triangles. So here we have our very first three triangles and these are all in the very first category which is about the angles. So taking a look at this, we have a right triangle, an acute triangle, and an obtuse triangle. So just from looking at the names, these remind us of our angles. And we have a video on this, which is called Types of Angles. So if you want to watch that, please go ahead and do so. So our three basic types of angles are right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle. A right angle, starting with that, is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. So let's say our angle is x. So x is equal to 90 degrees exact. So it can't be, let's say, 91 degrees or 89 degrees. It has to be exactly 90 degrees. So this is a right angle, right? So in a right triangle, how do you know if it's a right triangle? Well, first of all, one of the angles has to be exactly 90 degrees. But how can you tell it's 90 degrees? Well, there's always a square symbol in a right triangle. And if you see this in the, in the blue, this is a square symbol to represent the angle. And so if you see a square, that means it is exactly 90 degrees. So this is our right triangle. Next, we have an acute triangle. So reminding us of an acute angle, an acute angle is always less than 90 degrees. So it could be 89 degrees, 88 degrees, it could be 3 degrees. But mostly in acute triangles, each of the angles is 60 degrees. Because remember, a triangle can only add up to 180 degrees. So 60 plus 60 plus 60 gives us 180 degrees. So this is an example of an tr acute triangle. So it has three acute angles, okay? So next, our last triangle in this category is the obtuse triangle. And an obtuse triangle, just like the obtuse angle, the angle has to be more than 90 degrees. So it can be 91 degrees, it can be 116 degrees. About a key point to remember about an obtuse triangle is that there can only be one obtuse angle in an obtuse triangle. Reason being is that if you, let's say, you have one obtuse angle and that is 91 degrees. If you have another one that is more than 90 degrees, then they add up to more than 180 degrees. And an obtuse, and any triangle can only add up to 180 degrees, no more or nor less, okay? So here we have our very first three triangles in our first category, which are right triangle, acute triangle, and obtuse triangle. All right, next we have the triangles that are based on the measurement of the sides. So we have scalene triangle, equilateral triangle, and isosceles triangle. Some of you might be familiar with these words, but some of you might not. So let me go ahead and explain these triangles. So the very first one here is the scalene triangle. A scalene triangle is a triangle in which all of the sides have different measurements. So all of the sides are different. So that's one important thing to remember about a scalene triangle. So here's an example of our scalene triangle. Next, we have an equilateral triangle. And just from looking at this, it looks a lot like our acute triangle up here. Well, that's because most equilateral triangles are acute triangles because all of the angles equal 60 degrees. And so do the measurements. The measurements are always the same, okay? So an equilateral triangle actually has three acute angles in it. So all of the angles and sides are the same. Okay, so this was our equilateral triangle. Next and last we have our isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, only two of the sides are the same measurement and one of them is different. So only two sides have the same measurement.
All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned about the different types of triangles. And remember, this is only the basic types of triangles. So these are the main triangles you will learn about in seventh grade. Okay, so once again, revising them, we have right triangle, acute triangle, obtuse triangle, scalene triangle, equilateral triangle, and isosceles triangle. And these are in two different categories. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys learned about this. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below, and we'll try our best to answer them. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.